Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm bringing to you another cheap purchase from Amazon. This is a children's microscope. I've actually always liked chemistry in school when I took it and I always wanted a microscope of my own. Uh, this one was on a lightning deal. I wound up paying less than $6 for it. But the normal price is around 12 to 13 on Amazon. Um, but still at around 10 bucks or so on average, these are really cheap, but I wonder how great they actually are. Uh, so we're going to unbox it together and we're also going to look at what's included and we're going to try to see down the actual uh, Microscope lens to see if we could see anything, but this is the box Let's just see what it comes with so we could tell right here the couple samples that it comes with it comes with a couple of uh, Tubes, I guess you could put your specimen in there looks like labels right there are number two um, Has some stickers has some tweezers and a couple slides right here looks like one right here already has something prepared on it so what we're gonna do we're gonna take a look see if we could actually uh i guess see anything with the magnification that it claims to have so it has a hundred times 400 times and 1200 times magnification and it is also battery operated and you do have a light up stage as you could tell there's a single led right here and basically that will enable us to basically see right through um the slides so let's open it up see what we get and give it a run Hey guys, so this is what we get. You have everything I described, tweezers, you have a couple of uh, test tubes here, you have some slides, it looks like this one right here in the middle already has something on it, and we're going to check out what that stuff is inside. It looks like some kind of a fiber from something, but I'm not quite sure. As I read it right here, it doesn't really tell you what it is. But we'll be interested to see, you know, if we could use the magnification uh, to our benefit here. Let's put those back. We also have a couple of uh, clear slides, which we can prepare slides ourselves and be able to put this under the objective lens of the microscope. Um, tweezers right here, plastic, very flimsy. But, you know, if you're a kid, you know, nothing wrong with it. You know, it's here at least for the money. Why not? All right, so let's take this thing out. Okay, it's packaged pretty well. And here's the actual microscope itself. So you have uh, the adjustment here and an adjustment here. This is the coarse adjustment, uh, or rather the fine adjustment. So we can move the actual uh, microscope lens piece up and down away from the diaphragm right here, which is where we will be putting in the slides under these two clips right here. Pretty cool. Basically, you have a full functioning kids type microscope you have basically all the parts that you would expect you have a hundred times magnification here and as we turn it now we have 400 times and obviously the largest 1200 times the way this is achieved is in reality the, this actual objective itself is not 1200 times what happens is you have the actual um, eyepiece itself is 10 times and then you multiply by 120 to get the 120 so in reality to get to 100 magnification, you would have a 10 times and a 10 times lens. That's how you would get the 100 times magnification. Uh, very typical, as you could tell. The adjustment is uh, fairly fast. I would like it to be a little bit smoother, but that's what it is. So let me put some batteries in this bad boy, and then we're going to see if this light actually works. Batteries go right here on the bottom. I'm going to do this a little bit off camera, guys, but trust me, uh, it just uses two double A's, and we'll give it a go. Okay, so I put in a pair of double A's in here, and now this light right here should be able to light up. So we're just going to check it out. Uh, there's a little LED right here on the base, and here we go. So there we go. We have some pretty good light, so that should be able to come up straight through to the lens, as you can tell right there. I'm pointing to it with my finger, and uh, we should get a pretty good image through the lens here on top. It has a cover, and it looks like that. We're going to try to get some uh, objectives here going right now but i'll try to get some good images here of the lens itself it's a little bit tough but we'll able we'll be able to see something you also have an adjustable piece here on top uh for basically eyesight uh from my understanding okay so let me just uh, slide in a slide in here and then i'm going to be able to see if we could see anything through this thing so let's just begin with the included one right here you can tell it has these kind of little element, these little fiber elements in there. Now I'm not quite sure what they are, but interested to see. So I'm just going to slide it in right here. OK, 
Okay, so now I've put it in and I could still see the light kind of shining through right there. Looks pretty cool. We're at a hundred times magnification. We're gonna try to see if we could see anything. Okay, so I focused the, the image off camera here, had to kind of get it straight. I know that I could definitely see through this diaphragm. We're at a hundred times magnification. I'm gonna try to get an actual image here. I'm gonna basically just hold up this lens um, to the to the camera right here. I'm gonna see if we could actually see anything. Sorry kind of for the shakiness, guys, but you know, this is one of those times where this is just gonna have to work. So as you could tell, if I hold steady, that is, uh, you do see some kind of fibers here. Not quite sure what they are, but the focus is is not terrible. You know, this is at a hundred times magnification, right there. If anybody knows, please let me know. I'm curious myself. So it's pretty pretty focused. You know, uh, from basically a very cheap kids microscope, and this is once again at a hundred times magnification. I was able to get a much better stable image here. Uh, it took me a while, so give it a thumbs up if you like this image. This is the same slide at 400 times magnification. Now we're going to try to kind of increase it to 1200 magnification. I'm going to try to keep this image as steady as I can, although of course anytime I move it, even the slightest bit, it shifts out of focus. So we're going to do this. So this is 1200 times. You could tell it's a little bit out of focus, so I'm going to move this upper adjustment wheel. And we're going to try to get it in a little bit better of a focus here. Okay. Just keep it steady, right? Steady. Okay. So it looks like it's coming in. I don't particularly see much of a difference here. It's already out of... I don't really see much of a difference in the magnification levels. It looks to me like uh, the 100 times is, is pretty good. Although here it gets slightly worse from my opinion. There we go. So here I'm moving it slowly and you could tell the way that it's basically just going through the image. And as a special treat right now we're looking at a slide that I prepared myself just now. This is uh, a regular hair, nothing crazy here. So as you could tell it's okay. Um, it's pretty well focused and we're at 400 times magnification now. I'm going to attempt to turn it to 100 to see uh, if anything changes and I'll adjust the diaphragm. Okay, so this is at 100 times magnification. It's the same hair. Um, pretty much similar, I would say, to the 400 times magnification. So not particularly much different, but the 100 times is not bad. You are still able to see a very small piece of material uh, very up close. You could also experiment with a bunch of other things. I haven't prepared any more slides, but if you guys are interested to see whether I have the abilities and know-how to prepare some other slides with this cheap little kid's microscope, uh, you know, for basically five or six bucks that you can pick it up, this is the cheapest you can get. Let me know down in the comments and not a bad deal overall, right? So if you like this video, please give it a comment and a thumbs up. Thanks.